Hey guys, Chef Thomas here. Listen, today we are going to smoke some fish right here on regular charcoal. So stick around, stay tuned, and learn how to smoke fish when you don't have a smoker. All you have is a charcoal grill with a lid on it, all right? So what kind of fish are we gonna to smoke today? The king, that's right. We're gonna smoke king mackerel. Okay guys, today we're gonna to smoke some king mackerel, fresh out of the ocean right here in the Gulf of Thailand. Uh, what I did was fillet it and leave the skin on. Uh, the mackerel doesn't have any scales, or if they do, they're really, really small. So you can eat the skins. And also I like the skins on to put the skin down on the grill. Because that's what we're going to do today. We're going to grill it and smoke it. All right. Now, the first thing I did was uh, cut the, the mackerel into strips, as you can see here. And I'll show you even closer. And then take about one bottle of water, normal size drinking water, and add four tablespoons of salt and one cup of pure cane sugar. Like some people use brown sugar, but I like the pure cane golden sugar. So uh, after you get the salt and the sugar in the water, then you really jostle it around and get it all dissolved, okay? Then take your filleted cut pieces of mackerel, put it in the bag, seal it up, put it in the refrigerator for at least one hour and get it really nice and cold. It's ice cold. You can even stick it in the freezer for the first 10 minutes or so if you really want to chill it fast, okay? But you need to let it soak in that brine for one hour, all right? So then we're gonna open it up and this is a very, very important step. Don't forget to do this part, okay? So what we're gonna do with the king mackerel is we're gonna put it out on a grid and we're gonna let it dry before we begin to put it on the grill, all right? So the first thing you can do is open your bag up and drain, drain the brine off. Just take any type of a strainer, right? And again, it's just salt and sugar in the water, right? A very nice brine. So, so here we go. You can see about the size of the cuts that I like to make for the smoked mackerel. And again, I really like the skin on because I start that down on the grill. So what we want to do is put it skin up, or skin down, just like we're putting it on the grill, and lay it out here on the drying rack. In the sun is really great as well. Hey, hello, how are you? What are you growing today? Uh, I'm smoking some king mackerel. Ah. Yeah, so I've had it in a brine for about an hour, a salt and sugar brine. Ah. I've got it all filleted. And uh, I leave the skin on because I like to put the skin side down on the grill when I'm smoking it. Right. And uh, after you drain the brine off, you let it sit out and air dry. And what this does is it allows the salt and the sugar to kind of get a little crusty okay. on your fish. Yeah. So it's it's ideal. Now mackerel is a really oily fish, so you don't have to baste it or anything like that when you're smoking it, which makes it ideal for smoked fish. So I'll just lay it out on a the rack there after I drain the brine off. And uh, I've got a couple of covers I'll put on top. Put that over and keep the flies off of it. Okay, so this is a very important step when you smoke some king mackerel is to let that stuff sit out of the brine for about 30 minutes. And what this is going to do is going to allow uh, the sails of the fish to absorb that salt and sugar mixture, the brine, and it's going to form what's called a pellicle. And that will actually allow some of the oil to start oozing out of the surface. I know that kind of sounds a little gross, but trust me, it's not. So we're gonna let that set for 30 minutes, right? And uh, give it plenty of time to develop the pellicle. 
very, very important before you put it on your grill. I like to use a little cover here, as you can see, just to keep any insects off of it. 30 okay, minutes. Guys, we just have a regular charcoaler and not an actual smoker, but it works real well. I've got the temperature up about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. That's going to go down a little bit when I open her up. And now you can see what the mackerel looks like after 30 minutes of air time, right? Like I said, we got about 250 degrees, maybe a, a little bit over, but it's going to cool off after we open it up, right? So we want it a little hotter than 200. And the wood we're going to use today is uh, jackfruit because I'm here in Thailand. So we just got some jackfruit branches and split those up and you can see they still have some green. So we're going to throw those on the fire. Now that we've opened it up, the temperature is going to cool down a little bit. Stir that coal all to one side. Get everything on one side. Throw us some wood in there. Don't have to overload it, but enough to get some uh, nice smoke going. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to let that flame up just a little bit. It's, gonna, it's really hot, so it's going to flame up, and we're going to let that flame up, burn a little bit. See it's starting to smoke already, right? One more thing that I like to do is take a good wire brush and a little bit of oil. In this case, I'm using coconut oil. Put a little oil on the brush and just brush this grill. I already had it nice and clean. I just want to add a little bit of oil. You see we flamed up there really good. All right, now close it down and shut it down completely. Cut off the air. Cut off the air. On all four drafts. Okay, we don't need the air anymore. We just want the smoke. Mmm, that jackfruit smells good. Uh, use your favorite wood wherever you are in the world. Uh, hickory, apple, all of that works fine. Uh, mesquite would be good too. Just up to you. So now again, our temperature has dropped back down below 250 now because we had her opened up. So we're running about 225, which is pretty dang good. So we're going to let it get a little smoky and put the fish on okay guys it's it's time to smoke some mackerel so if you can see the mackerel it's really changed in texture now that that brine is dried this is very very important okay so now we got the right temperature we got the smoke rolling let's load it up dead on 200 perfect now all of the air is closed off so those flames died and it's really going to get smoky you can see the smoke starting to come now all right there we go guys let her set have a cold beer relax just keep an eye on that temperature okay it's been about 15 minutes and i have not lifted the lid all i'm doing is checking that temperature and we're getting a little bit hot Okay, so at this point, I want to open it up, let some of that air out because I've got it all closed down. Oh yeah, had a lot of smoke, a lot of smoke in the lid, right? And you can see, now some of these closest to the charcoal, you could go ahead and turn early. Look at that. See those sear marks? You don't have to do a lot of turning, right? But these ones that are closest to the fire, and what I'm doing here is letting the temperature cool back down, right? We're getting back down to that 200 range, okay? I might want to scoot those over, right? Get those a little closer to the heat. Right. 
Okay, pretty happy with that. These here cooking just fine. Now, ideally, at 200 degrees, you want to smoke about two and a half hours. Now, you see that gave us a little bit more air on the jackfruit. We still have plenty of wood left in there for the smoking. Maybe give it a stir. Okay. Close it back down. Now you can see our temperature because we had the lid up has dropped significantly. So I shouldn't have to open again for at least an hour, really. But just keep an eye. Just keep an eye and make sure it doesn't get over 250. Guys, we've been smoking one hour. And I've been checking the temperature. And right now we're running about 175, which is just perfect could be just a touch hotter so what i can do with the charcoal at this point is open up a draft so i want it to get a little bit hotter i've got the wind on this side of the grill so open the top and the bottom and that'll let me control my heat a little better again not ideal to be using the grill instead of an actual smoker but it does work. Guys, we have been smoking for two hours and 15 minutes now. Uh, our temperature is still about 175. So we've really maintained that 175 to 200 range, maybe 220 at times. But we've done a really good job of maintaining the temperature, which is very, very important. So let's go ahead and take a look, shall we? And again, the important thing about trying to smoke fish, especially king mackerel, on a charcoal grill is to have that fire all over here on one side, okay? So we don't want direct charcoal, we want that smoke to infuse. Now, the jackfruit that we used for smoking, uh, it burned away and pretty much the smoke pittered out around an hour and a half, which is plenty. You just wanna get that smoke ring into the fish and from that point on, you don't need to keep adding chips you just need to maintain that temperature. All right, well, let's plate this up. Looks pretty delicious. Oh, you can see that I have uh, rotated. This is the hottest side of the fire, so I have rotated them around, and there was really no need to, uh, to flip them very much, okay? I like to cook them with that skin down. If you prefer to skin them, you can do that as well. I really think they smoke better with the skin on. So let's let's take a couple. Let's see, plate them up, just like that. So the sauce that I'm serving with this particular smoked macro is very similar to like a pico de gallo. So it's a tomato base with onion, cilantro, lots of fresh squeezed lime juice, and salt. So you have that sour citrus from the lime and then the salt makes it uh, really salty. So up to you, if you want a dipping sauce, you certainly don't have to have a dipping sauce. Well, let's look at the texture of this meat, all right? Still pretty hot and still dripping with the oil. Now the skin will come right off if you don't want to eat the skin, okay? So that's not a problem. Skin just comes right off. So let's look at this. It's nice and moist. Look at the inside, huh? So the first try, ooh, it's hot. Oh my God. Guys, it's light and flaky, but not dry, not dry at all. And that's why the king mackerel is such a great fish to soak. Remember, the brine is very important. And then that 30-minute dry time after you drain it out of the brine. Very, very important. But you don't need to baste this fish at all. You don't need to brush it with butter or anything like that. If you do, you're just going to have overkill with the oil base, right? Because it's a very oily fish. So don't bother basting it. It's going to be moist if you follow this recipe, all right? So let's try it with a little bit of the dipping sauce. Zesty, uh, spicy tomato base, 
cilantro and lime juice. Oh. Mm. Oh my God. Wow. What's really good about this smoked fish is I could seal this up in some Tupperware and keep it in the refrigerator. It's going to keep really well because it's smoked. Take it out and warm it slightly in the microwave. Don't try to cook it. Just warm it or warm it in a pan so it keeps really well. But if you're going to have guests over and you want to try some smoked king mackerel, I promise you it will all get eaten. It it will get eaten like kids eating candy. Again, if you take a close look. Right? And then look when we break it open. Look at that. But not dry at all. And I must say that this salsa is just excellent. Excellent with it. If you don't want a tomato base, you can obviously uh, make a green verde sauce or or something like that, uh, a more traditional seafood sauce, but I really like the pico. It's really, really good. Mm. Again, look how easy that, that skin comes off of there. And of course, normally we would plate this and use a fork, but for the purposes of demonstration, Chef Thomas is just doing it finger food style, right? It's so moist, you don't even need a drink to wash it down. That's how moist it is. Absolutely phenomenal. All right, guys, if you want to follow more recipes, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But for now, here's your smoked king mackerel just on a charcoal grill. So if you have an actual smoker or a very good high quality grill where you can really control the air better than this one, that's that's fine, too. But main thing maintain that temperature 175 to 220 range two hours and 15 minutes is all i really wanted on this uh, you could go a little longer if you want but you don't want to go too far right okay guys that's it man thanks for watching thanks for watching chef thomas subscribe to teacher thomas tyler youtube channel all right peace and love to everyone see you later Oh, yummy!